So in this video, I'm going to have a look at how to find acceleration from a velocity time graph, which is the same method from a speed time graph. So <clears throat> it's worth remembering the equation for acceleration is change in velocity over the time taken, which can be written uh, with delta t as well. Um, Often people find it a little bit easier thinking of this as the final velocity or final speed minus the starting velocity or starting speed divided by the time taken. And what this means is that the acceleration is given by the gradient of a velocity time graph. So let's look at an example from this graph. So if I wanted to find the acceleration in section A, then the <coughs> acceleration I could think of using this equation. My final speed is 15, my starting speed is 0, and the time taken 0 to 2, give me 2, which would give me 7.5 meters per second squared. And it's worth remembering the units for acceleration, meters per second squared, because they come up a lot in an exam. Now, in section B, the speed or velocity is not changing, and therefore we can say the acceleration is zero without doing a calculation. Equally, we can see the gradient is zero because it's a horizontal line. So, for section C, <coughs> it's slightly more complicated than section A because the starting values of time and velocity are not zero. So when we work out the change in velocity, we need to do the final value, 25, minus the starting value, 15, divided by the time taken. So we need to do the final time, which was 12, minus the starting time, which was 8, which gives us 10 divided by 4, which would give us 2.5 meters per second squared. So <clears throat> it's worth mentioning that if you had a curved, a curved velocity time graph, something like that, and you wanted to know the acceleration at this point, that you would have to draw in a tangent and then find the gradient of the tangent, which is the same method that we saw for finding the speed from a distance time graph. So if you have a curved line, you would draw in the tangent, and then once you've got the tangent, you can do the gradient of that line. 